Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn the most basic skills that you will need when modeling in Fem Design software. Let's start by checking how you can use your mouse. Uh, when you have your model here, you can use the pan command simply by pressing scroll down. So now you can see that my model is panned and I can move it around. When you want to use rotate command, you can simply press, press control, then your scroll. So now the rotation starts and the rotation starts uh, or the rotation center will always be in the center of my view. So let's say I want to rotate around this column. I move the column in the center of my view and start rotation like this. Other functions in your scroll is when you scroll up you can see that I'm zooming in and when you're scrolling down you can see that I'm zooming out from the view and in the mouse by clicking right or the left you can see that the uh, selection box appears in the screen and when you're moving from right to left the selection box appears as a green color but when you move from left to right the selection box appears in a blue color the difference between these selection boxes are that when you're using the green one you can select objects that are just partly touching or in the selection box like this now i click another time i click left and i can see that all these objects were selected however if i use selection box from uh, left to right as a blue box i can see that even though other objects were inside the box the only two column that was totally inside the box have now been selected and when we are using a mouse by clicking right we can see that the modifying tools appear on the screen these are the most basic cat tools that you can find in every cat or modeling software and this is the fa fast and easy way to use this by first clicking your model by not selecting any object and then selecting the tool or the command you want to use let's say i want to move that column there so i select move command and now i can actually see if i don't remember what is the how to use that command i can see that in the left corner there there is guidelines for me how to run down or run through that command so first i select the object then it set, says base point of displacement and then second point of displacement and these guides are see you can see in every function or the command in fam design and from the keyboard when i press esc it takes me back from that function or command to starting point or when i press ctrl z i can redo my last move or the command or the function that i did in fem design you can of course you can find uh, i'm sorry undo the last command you did of course you can do redo when you press ctrl y but as you can see you can also find them here so you don't maybe have to need to use the uh, keyboard for using these one another thing for the modifying tools or any other command is that you can always set them as keyboard commands by going to settings environment and here comments here you can see all the modifying tools that i showed earlier you can see the command but you need to type in your keyboard and then press enter to start using those let's say i want to move it's m and v and then enter of course you can change this 
the different letter combinations or just to be one letter. Let's try that. I'm gonna press M V and then enter. And now I can see that move command is active and I can start using it. Like that. So here were the basic uh, modifying tools in fem design when modeling and also how to use the mouse. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.